If you have suffered cervical spine trauma and your X-ray, CT scan or MRI is showing odontoid fracture or dense fracture, then what does that mean? Come, let's understand it through this model. The second bone of our cervical spine. This is our second bone of cervical spine and there is a peg-like protrusion in this bone which is known as the odontoid. Odontoid or dense. Now, there are three types of fracture patterns in this bone. One is if there is a fracture of the tip. This is known as type 1 odontoid fracture. Second is if the fracture is here, this is known as type 2 odontoid fracture. Third, if the fracture is here, this is type 3 odontoid fracture. So normally type 1 odontoid fracture, which is of this tip, can be treated very well with non-operative measures like hello or cervical collar for 8 weeks. Type 2 fracture, that is the fracture through this part, is little more dangerous and challenging. If there is a type 2 fracture and there is more than 5 mm of display, displacement or 10 degree of angulation, then surgery might be required. Now, it is, if it is a fresh fracture which can be reduced well, we just put a screw from the front of the neck like this. We put this screw and fix this fracture in its position. Now, after that, patient has to wear a collar for 8 weeks and then we remove the collar and patient can go back to activities. However, if the fracture is old or the chances of reduction are very less, then we do a surgery from the back where we fix this vertebra to the lower vertebra using either screws, bone graft or wires. We fix these two vertebras or we fuse them in the normal position so that there is no abnormal movement at the front. So this surgery is fr done from the back of the spine, that is from the neck part. And this is done, this screw surgery is done from the front. Third type of fracture, which is a fracture through this part of the bone, normally can be treated very well without surgery by just using collar or hello if required. So if your MRI, X-ray or CT scan is showing odontoid fracture, then see what kind of fracture it is based on your symptoms and the type of fracture pattern, you may or may not require surgery. However, if surgery is required and symptoms are severe, then don't wait for it because a neglected odontoid fracture can lead to severe complications. Thank you. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with us.